from invasion to present, Iraq's complex journey of struggle and resilience. The invasion of Iraq by the United States, also known as the Iraq War, was a highly controversial military campaign that began on March 20, 2003, and lasted until December 18, 2011. The invasion was initiated by the United States, with the support of a coalition of other countries, primarily the United Kingdom, and aimed to overthrow the regime of Saddam Hussein and eliminate Iraq's alleged weapons of mass destruction, WWMD, programs. Background. Iraq had been a focal point of international attention since the Gulf War in 1990-91, when a US-led coalition expelled Iraqi forces from Kuwait. Following the war, Iraq was subjected to extensive economic sanctions by the United Nations, which severely impacted its economy and infrastructure. Saddam Hussein's regime faced accusations of human rights abuses, suppression of political dissent, and defiance of UN resolutions regarding disarmament. Reasons for invasion. The primary justifications presented by the US and its allies for the invasion of Iraq were 1. Allegations of weapons of mass destructions. The US government under President George W. Bush claimed that Iraq possessed weapons of mass destruction, including chemical and biological weapons, and was actively pursuing nuclear weapons. These claims were based on faulty intelligence and ultimately proved to be unsubstantiated. 2. Links to terrorism. The Bush administration alleged that Saddam Hussein's regime had ties to terrorist organizations, including Al-Qaeda, and posed a threat to international security. 3. Promotion of democracy. The invasion was framed as part of a broader strategy to promote democracy and stability in the Middle East by ousting authoritarian regimes. Before Saddam Hussein rose to power in the late 1970s, Iraq was ruled by a monarchy. The country underwent significant political instability, with multiple coups and changes in leadership. Iraq's economy was primarily agrarian, with limited industrial development. The discovery of oil in the mid-20th century transformed Iraq's economy, but wealth was unevenly distributed, leading to socio-economic disparities. Under Saddam Hussein's rule, Iraq experienced rapid modernization and industrialization, with investments in infrastructure, education and healthcare. However, his regime was marked by authoritarianism, political repression and human rights abuses. Iraq's economy was heavily dependent on oil revenues, with the oil sector accounting for a significant portion of the country's GDP and government revenue. The economy suffered from mismanagement, corruption and the impact of international sanctions, which hindered economic growth and development. During Saddam Hussein's rule, Iraq experienced periods of relative stability and prosperity, particularly during the 1970s and 1980s. However, his regime was characterized by brutality and oppression, with widespread human rights abuses and suppression of political dissent. The Iran-Iraq War, 1980-1988, and the Gulf War, 1990-1991, further destabilized the country and took a heavy toll on its population and infrastructure, Saddam Hussein's regime was notorious for its human rights abuses, including arbitrary arrests, torture, executions and forced disappearances. Minority communities, such as Kurds and Shia Muslims, were particularly targeted for repression. The Anfal genocide campaign against the Kurds and the suppression of the Shia uprising in 1991 are among the most infamous examples of atrocities committed by the regime. Iraq's public infrastructure suffered from decades of neglect, exacerbated by the impact of international sanctions. Basic services such as electricity, water supply, healthcare and education were inadequate and unreliable in many parts of the country. The invasion and subsequent conflict further damaged Iraq's infrastructure, leading to widespread destruction and displacement. Under Saddam Hussein's rule, a significant portion of Iraq's resources was allocated to defense spending, including maintaining a large military apparatus and investing in weapons programs. This came at the expense of critical social services such as education, healthcare and public utilities, which suffered from underfunding and neglect. In the aftermath of the invasion, efforts were made to rebuild Iraq's infrastructure and institutions, but progress was slow and hindered by ongoing security challenges, sectarian violence and political instability. Overall, 
The invasion of Iraq and its aftermath had profound and far-reaching consequences for the country, contributing to further instability, sectarian tensions and humanitarian crises in the region. During Saddam Hussein's rule in Iraq, the country was composed of several ethnic and religious groups, each with its own distinct identity and socio-political dynamics. The main ethnic groups in Iraq included Arabs, Kurds, Turkmen, Assyrians and others. Here's an overview of their conditions during Saddam Hussein's regime. Arabs Arabs constituted the majority ethnic group in Iraq, predominantly residing in central and southern regions of the country. Under Saddam Hussein's rule, Arab Iraqis enjoyed privileges and positions of power within the government and military. The Ba'ath Party, led by Saddam Hussein, was dominated by Arab nationalists. However, political dissent among Arabs was met with harsh repression, including arbitrary arrests, torture and execution. Kurds Kurds are an ethnic minority concentrated primarily in northern Iraq, with significant populations also residing in neighboring countries. Kurds faced systematic discrimination and oppression under Saddam Hussein's regime. The Anfal campaign, carried out in the late 1980s, targeted Kurdish communities with chemical attacks, forced displacement and mass killings, resulting in tens of thousands of deaths. Saddam Hussein's regime also implemented Arabization policies in Kurdish areas, forcibly displacing Kurdish populations and settling Arabs in their place. Kurdish resistance movements such as the Patriotic Union of Kurdistan, PUK, and the Kurdistan Democratic Party, KDP, operated in opposition to the central government, leading to periodic armed conflict. Turkmen Turkmen are an ethnic minority, primarily located in northern Iraq, particularly in the city of Kirkuk and its surrounding areas. Turkmen faced discrimination and marginalization under Saddam Hussein's regime, similar to other minority groups. They often struggle to assert their cultural and political rights within the framework of a predominantly Arab-dominated state. Like Kurds, Turkmen also faced displacement and Arabization policies in areas considered strategically important by the central government, such as Kirkuk. Assyrians Assyrians are an ethnic and religious minority, primarily consisting of Christians with communities scattered throughout Iraq. Assyrians faced persecution and discrimination under Saddam Hussein's regime, particularly due to their religious identity. They often experienced restrictions on religious practices and cultural expression. Assyrian communities were subject to displacement and violence, especially in areas of conflict and instability. Many Assyrians fled Iraq during Saddam Hussein's rule due to persecution and violence, Overall, Saddam Hussein's regime maintained control through a combination of authoritarian rule, repression of dissent, and divide-and-rule tactics that exacerbated ethnic and sectarian tensions within Iraqi society. Minority ethnic groups, in particular, faced systematic discrimination and violence, contributing to deep-seated grievances and conflicts that persisted long after Saddam's regime was toppled. The present condition of ethnic groups in Iraq remains complex and dynamic, with ongoing challenges and developments affecting each group differently. Here's an overview of the current situation of some of the major ethnic groups in Iraq. Arabs Arabs continue to be the majority ethnic group in Iraq, comprising a significant portion of the population. Many Arabs are concentrated in central and southern regions of Iraq, including Baghdad and Basra. Arab communities have been affected by the broader political, economic and security challenges facing Iraq, including sectarian tensions and conflicts. Kurds Kurds remain a significant ethnic group in Iraq, primarily residing in the autonomous Kurdistan region in the north. The Kurdistan Regional Government, KRG, exercises a degree of self-governance in areas under its control, including in matters of security, administration and natural resource management. Despite enjoying relative stability and security compared to other parts of Iraq, the Kurdish region faces its own set of challenges, including political divisions, economic hardships, and disputes with the central government over issues such as oil revenue sharing and territorial boundaries. Turkmen Turkmen are an ethnic minority in Iraq, primarily residing in northern regions such as Kirkuk, 
Talafar and Mosul. Turkmen communities continue to face challenges related to security, representation and cultural preservation. The status of Turkmen majority areas, particularly Kirkuk, remains a point of contention between the Kurdish regional government and the central government in Baghdad.